Xavi Alonso has confirmed he will stay at Bundesliga leaders Bayer Leverkusen. The news comes as a blow to interested parties Liverpool and Bayern Munich. Why a defeat against Arsenal will be curtains for Man City's title defence, listen to the It's All Kicking Off podcast. Xavi Alonso revealed on Friday he had ruled himself out of contention to be the next Liverpool boss because he has unfinished business at Bayer Leverkusen. I am convinced it is the right decision, I am happy, said Alonso, whose Leverkusen side is on the brink of a first German title. I wanted to reflect on the international break. The players gave me so many reasons to keep believing in them, their commitment, their desire, their hunger. My job isn't over here. It would not be correct to talk about other clubs. Outgoing Reds boss Jurgen Klopp said he understood Alonso's decision. I can speak about a young manager being at a club where he's doing well, said Klopp, who stayed in charge of Mainz despite interest from bigger clubs. I did pretty much the same and never regretted it. Liverpool will now turn their attention to sporting Lisbon's Ruben Amorim and Roberto de Zerbi of Brighton. Alonso confirmed his decision to continue at Bayer Leverkusen ahead of his side's game against Hoffenheim on Saturday afternoon. The Spanish manager told reporters he felt the speculation over his future could have hindered their chances of claiming the 2023-24 Bundesliga title. He also said the rumors could have undermined his authority with the players as they would have been questioning whether he was staying at the club or going. Speaking at Friday's press conference, Alonso added, For sure all the decisions needed to be analyzed well and I tried to take the right ones. I tried to take them that I felt they came naturally and at this moment I felt that this was the best place for me to be, for me to develop as a coach. I am a young coach but I have to feel it and right now I feel that this is the right place and I have to thank the management, the club that has been supportive. Alonso explained how he felt valued on the German side. He told reporters, I feel respected by all the departments. The fans that showed great support during this year and last year in difficult moments, I feel that. We have all the reasons to believe and to dream that we can have a great season, and we are pushing for that. A great staff that helps me day by day to work better, to prepare and improve the team. The players. For sure the players, they give me so many reasons to keep believing in the team for the commitment, for the desire, for the hunger to have a great season. Alonso finished by saying. I want to help them, I want to help the team, I want to help the young players to develop and if I am part of a process I am happy with that. Putting all the things together, I have taken this important decision and I am convinced it is the right one, I am happy. I am still young so time will tell but right now I feel like that. When asked whether he felt there was room for improvement at Bayer Leverkusen, in terms of his performance and his squad's performance, Alonso said, it is a process. The development of the team is parallel to my development as a manager. This is my first complete season as a manager so I think that I still have a lot of things to prove to myself, to experience. Right now I have a situation at the club where I feel stable, and happy with the team and the club. It comes together that we can work together in many aspects. I have shared that with the management and the players as well. We are in a situation that we have to enjoy. There are still two months to go, it's going to be intense but demanding but enjoyable hopefully. His decision publicly ahead of Leverkusen's final eight Bundesliga games. He felt doubts about his future may have undermined his authority with the squad. Speaking about the run-in, Alonso said, We need to give our best and for that, it was good that the last week was my deadline and I had to make that decision. From now on all the cards are on the table and we go full gas for the big calls we have ahead of us. Let us see how far we can reach but our wish is clear. He continued. I have thought about the decision because important decisions you need to reflect well and to know. Once I had taken the decision it was important to share with everyone. I need to give them back the respect that they have shown me, I am grateful as well to these people that they believe. The fans, my staff, the players. So many people come with me and that's important that I give them back what they have given me, that's a sign of respect, of appreciation. So far I feel that way. Alonso's decision to stay at Leverkusen leaves Sporting Lisbon manager Amorim as the letting. Plus 9. View Gallery. Amorim, 39, is expected to be given an interview with the Premier League giants after he scored well on Liverpool's data tests. Bayern Munich had also registered and recruited Alonso, perhaps a tactic to unsettle Leverkusen's title tilt this season. However, Bayern Munich's club president Uli Honus said it would be probably impossible, to bring the Spaniard to Munich this year. Alonso, who was seen as Liverpool's dream target, has overseen a revolution at Bayer Leverkusen since joining in October 2022. 
When he signed up for the job, they were in the relegation zone but he managed to steer them into the top six. This campaign, they are 10 points clear of Bayern Munich at the top of the Bundesliga, unbeaten all season, and into the last eight of the Europa League for a second year running. It has been a historic season, with Leverkusen on course to lift their first Bundesliga title barring an almighty breakdown, and they have only conceded 18 goals in the process, candidate to take over at Liverpool. Amorim, 39, is expected to be given an interview with the Premier League giants after he scored well on Liverpool's data tests. Bayern Munich had also registered and recruited Alonso, perhaps a tactic to unsettle Leverkusen's title tilt this season. However, Bayern Munich's club president Uli Honus said it would be, probably impossible, to bring the Spaniard to Munich this year. Alonso, who was seen as Liverpool's dream target, has overseen a revolution at Bayer Leverkusen since joining in October 2022. When he signed up for the job, they were in the relegation zone but he managed to steer them into the top six. This campaign, they are 10 points clear of Bayern Munich at the top of the Bundesliga, unbeaten all season, and into the last eight of the Europa League for a second year running. It has been a historic season, with Leverkusen on course to lift their first Bundesliga title barring an almighty breakdown, and they have only conceded 18 goals in the process. After cutting his teeth for three seasons with Real Sociedad B, he has re-energized the Rhine club and won 50 of his 75 games in charge, only losing 10. Meanwhile, Bayern are facing the prospect of their first season without winning a trophy since 2011-12 following 11 consecutive title wins, and have thus deemed Tuchel surplus to requirements. Liverpool's other target, De Zerbi, sits at the top end of their shortlist having guided Brighton to 6th in the Premier League last season and got them to the last 16 of the Europa League in their maiden continental venture. The Seagulls will visit Anfield on Sunday. Dear listener, please follow and subscribe to our lovely channel for more updates. Thanks.